What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at creative layouts that we can now accomplish in Squarespace with the new shape block. So the first thing that this shape block makes really easy is making it look like content is overlapping into the section above or below. So here I'm editing the page in this section and let's go ahead and hit G to see the grid. So one thing that I'll need is for the grid to go all the way to the top because I wanna add a blue solid to the top of this section and then move my image up into the blue solid and it'll look like the image is overlapping into the section above. So I'm gonna edit the section and I'm going to uncheck the fill screen option. Now you can see the content can go all the way to the top of the section. Next, I'll grab the new shape block and put that into the section and I'm going to extend it all the way to the edges of the screen. And then I'm just gonna make it the same color as the section above. So I'll go to color, choose that color, and now I can just make sure that all the content is on top of it. So I'll just select the block and then move it all the way to the back. There we go. And now I'll definitely wanna move this content down so it looks like it's in the section below and I'll move the button down below, make the text block smaller, get everything situated here, and now I can just move this image around, and now it looks like it's overlapping this section into the section above. So you can create like much more dynamic layouts that way. The old, you know, without fluid editor and without the shape block, things could feel very just boxy, like here's a section and here's a section. But now with this new shape block, you can just make things the same color, and now it looks like things are overlapping into the section above. So um, I can also just decrease the space so the content is a little bit closer together. Now when I hit save, we have a really cool look where the image is now like overlapping into the section above. So you can get creative with that kind of a layout and break up the page a little bit. Again, make it a little bit more creative. The next thing that we can use the shape block to do is to add an image overlay. So this image, uh, I might wanna darken it or add one of my brand colors to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another shape block to the page and I'll overlay it over the image here. Make it the same exact size. And note, this will only work when the image below is set to fill, not fit, um, because the overlay and the image have to be set to the same grid lines. So they have to be the same size. So now I can edit this and basically make it whatever color I want and then drop the opacity. And so now we have a cool color overlay, super easy. The problem is though, if your image has a link and you drag the shape block over the image, the link is no longer gonna be clickable because the shape block is over the image. So what I've done is I've wrote a little bit of custom CSS here and I'll have this linked in the description below this video if you wanna copy it. And it basically just removes the pointer events from shape blocks. And so that way the shape block is invisible uh, to your mouse. And so you can just click right through to the image. Lastly, we can create cards now. So if you add a shape block to the page, we can kind of scale it up as we need to. I'll hit G to show the grid. I like to kind of always see the grid that we're working on. So then I'm just gonna leave a grid cell of space around everything. And then here I can write a headline and some body copy. And then we can now add a, a button block to this card. Okay, so now we have a very simple and a very quick uh, card type look. Now you might be wondering, well, why wouldn't you just do this with an auto layout section? You can get the same exact effects. Uh, what's the advantage of using a, sh a shape block? Well, in this case, um, because with an auto layout section, you're limited to a, an image, a headline, and a body, and a button, that's it. You can't do any other content. With this option, one, uh, the shape block has a drop shadow option, so you can toggle on the drop shadow, and you can uh, play with the color of the drop shadow, so we would wanna make it darker, and then increase the blur, and I'm gonna decrease the opacity. Drop shadows never look good with like a really solid color. Just a really subtle shadow looks the best. So there we go. You can't do that with an auto layout section. 
And the other thing is um, we're not restricted in terms of our content. So I could add an SVG above the headline if I wanted to. Doesn't have to be an image. I could, instead of just a normal button block, I could add a product button or I could add a form lightbox button. So uh, we're not restricted with the type of content that we are able to add to our card. So that would be the advantage of using a shape block for this type of layout as opposed to an auto layout section. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I refer to auto layout section, check out this video in the card up above. It goes over the auto layout sections and all of the settings. So now that I have a shape block here, um, it's very easy for me to just copy everything and duplicate it. But I just realized one thing that I would want to do first is go down to the mobile view and make sure that I have the mobile layout set up. Because when you duplicate something, it'll copy over the mobile styles as well. And so that way I don't have to go like, I don't have to set up the mobile layout three different times. I can set it up once for this block. And then when I duplicate it, the mobile styles will be copied over as well. I definitely want to make sure that the headline has a little bit of space up top. And I'll drag this down one. Okay, so now my card is set up on mobile. I'm going to go back to desktop. And now I can duplicate these blocks, drag it over, and I'll duplicate it again, drag it over again. Now I can update this content. And when I go back to mobile, you can see all the blocks are, are sorted already. I don't have to like reshuffle around all the blocks. So that's the benefit of setting up the mobile styles before you duplicate blocks. The style, the mobile styles will copy to the new duplicates. So these are three really quick use cases for the shape block. I'm sure there are many more things where this is going to come in handy, but these are three ways that I'm going to be using it on my websites. All right, that is the look at the new shape block. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. I create tons of Squarespace customization videos here on this channel. So if you're interested in watching more content like this, consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.